All right, let's fire up Eximetry, my new favorite tool in the whole wide world. So, um, I'm using the Professional M version, uh, and I was has been told that whatever I do here, you can do in the Professional and Studio version, but I think you can dabble with it in the Community version as well. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I put some info in the uh, description, or you can go to the Eximit website and have a look. So this is, uh, I'm cleaned all my settings, so I need to uh, do all the settings. Uh, so I have two monitors, and I have a television, and I have an onboard monitor for the cameraman, and I have a Black Ma Blackmagic Declan Do. so I first need to set the correct settings, and I want it to be uh, PAL 25. So I just do that for all of my channels. So basically I'm using, I'm using, uh, right now I'm use, using one camera that's feeding, uh, feeding the SD, SDI cable. And uh, the rest is outputs for the television. And, and uh, we, have a, we have a NDI out too, not using it right now. But here's the thing, the index is really interesting. And that's where you can map your uh, outputs, I guess. But I'm just gonna map uh, my second monitor to number 23, so I know that. And now we're gonna do the Vive thing, and that's going to uh, the device mapper, and it's sorted under the game sessions. I'm not gonna map every, nothing here, but I'm gonna do some uh, uh, do some managing of the devices and I just click that button and go in here game open VR and uh, we need to set it to up rotated and up rotated and the forward point should be one zero zero one and the right point point should be one zero zero and here here are my trackers uh, this is pretty handy. Uh, as you can see, here's the head mount. Uh, here's this, uh, yeah, the calibrated position. And I can see the offset of the trackers. So the tr uh, one of the trackers are 1.7 meters, I think, offset from the center, which is pretty cool. Uh, so just push OK and restart. Bada bing, bada boom. Psh! That's great. So I think we are ready to start now. Uh, so we need to. So this is a. So this is an empty asymmetry workspace, but we need to create some compounds. So now we have a root compound with nothing in it. And so what we want to do is go to compounds, Common Studio compounds, track cam unread. And today I want to make a project where we can three D composite. Uh, the billboard, uh, and that's uh, the way I prefer it because uh, then you have a billboard inside the Unreal world, which can receive lightning, and you can have things in front of it and things in in, uh, in back of it. So I just drag this one in, but we're missing something. We need to create an Unreal project, and to do that, fire up Unreal Editor for Eximetry. Bam. Bam. Let's start a new project with nothing in it. A blank project. Notice I didn't choose film or television. I just chose a normal blank. Uh, no starter content. You just name this Eximetry Tutorial for you guys. And this is an important part. That's why I wrote that. I've f***ed up on this before. Don't have long file names or project names. So, Eximetry Tutorial is perfect. Could also get confusing if you have long, long, long folder structures, uh, etc. So, uh, keep it short. So, this is a basic structure. And what we need to do as well is go back to Eximetry, 
go to common studio unreal assets axiometry virtual no tracked cam and open location uh, and this is basically the camera blueprint that you should import to the project file so just copy that into the content folder It's a correct term. Uh, so they made some uh, changes into the engine uh, to be able to produce uh, better video quality of the stream that you send in. But you need to do a few things with it. Uh, go to project settings and search for stencil and enable custom def stencil pass and choose enable with stencil. And you also need to create a game mode. If you don't do that, uh, you will, wherever the player start is, it's going to uh, create a sphere. And it could be annoying to have a sphere in your shots. So let's create a game, new game mode. Go to maps and modes. And default game mode. Create a new one. And call it asymmetry mode. Thank you. And default point class, sayonara, none, none. And I think that's it uh, for now. Let's add a cylinder, uh, scale it down a bit. Let's see if this works. Save. So let's see if this works. Um, to be able Lighting to needs to be rebuilt. Let's let's do that first. Then. Perfect. Uh, to be able to run in real time in X inventory, you need to cook your content for Windows first. Should be fairly quick with this version. Cooking complete. So what we do now? Go back to X inventory open up the folder and then you drag your Unreal project file. Here we go. So then we have a lot of, we have two compounds, uh, one who controls the, uh, the cameras and the rendering and the Unreal one. So we need to connect it. It's pretty easy. So outsize, bam. Control data, bam. Texture to be texture. And then we have that out, and we're gonna pull that into the render. So we should have some kind of. We have no. Let's write this to preview. And out. Six hours later. Before you cook, you need to go to settings, project settings, maps and modes, and choose Eximeter map as the default map. Then we can save and cook again. So now we should have some picture. Fun. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm doing this, i hovering over the uh, what you call the rope and holding control down makes me see the output see the same here so basically uh, that's it uh, for now uh, let's go to inputs and try to uh, uh, try to uh, get our camera in so we have the black magic Declan do 2 1080 25p. Let's go see if the camera is uh, on.
There you go. Uh, so now we have image. Uh, it's look, it looks like this, the input. Then we need to key it. So if I reset this. What I usually do is monitor mode, input, and then I grab the color picker. OK. And select final again. Uh, we can also use the mat. You can see how much we need to fix things. You can also go spend some time here. Yeah, that will do for now, right? That's cool. And be sure to shake it back to final and final. So uh, so that's pretty much it. Now we have uh, we have the compound set up. We have the Unreal project set up. We have the camera going in, and uh, the next part is calibrating the vibe tracker to get a bit uh, video. And uh, that's the next video.